So Spark is a very important project for a lot of people because you know, the amount of data that's uh, being created in the world at the moment is just on a big explosion. And so you know, we have to look for new ways in which we can handle very large amounts of data. And that's going to occur at all different parts of the stack. There's going to be people looking at new algorithms to handle very large amounts of data, as well as people down at the runtime level seeing how runtimes have to adapt, both in terms of the new environment in which they run for cloud environments, but also to handle the new types of questions that are going to come along when that data is around. So I think the future of Spark is, uh, is looking really good. You know, I think a lot of people will be investing in it in lots of different places, and it'll be fun to see how it advances over the next few years. If you're going to have very large amounts of data like that, uh, to, to process it efficiently, you do need to divide and conquer. You need to be able to split up the data, work on individual pieces, and bring the results back together. So data is very highly cohesive. There's a lot of dependency upon it, and you can't split it up very well. It comes down to raw processing power. How quickly can you bring that data through a single machine, or a multi-threaded machine, but you know, a single sort of machine? Um, and that's where some of the innovation around hardware technologies and offloading to processing cars is really going to come into its fore as well. Big data is everywhere, right? I mean, the, every time you walk into a store carrying a cell phone, uh, you know, there's opportunities there for the store to, to recognize you as a customer, to start to personalize some of the information that they're presenting to you. Um, when we come to places like Jay on the Beach, right, the conferences, uh, getting uh, more information about which talks people go to and real-time feedback as to what they think about the, the presenters, about the talks, about the topics, um, I think we're just at the birth of, you know, what's, what's the real opportunities for big data. And, you know, a lot of companies are putting their weight behind. And luckily, Apache Spark seems to be one of those places where people are coming together because this is a foundation for a lot of innovative sort of cognitive technologies that are going to be built upon the large data. Individual companies don't need to differentiate around the processing of the data. It's the value of their applications built upon it. And you know, I think everybody's going to be looking at new ways in which they can build those innovative applications. There's, there's lots of exciting parts about it. It, it. Because it's such a new and emerging area, right? I think there's so many opportunities. The challenging part really is kind of figuring out which bits to go for first, right? Where's going to be the biggest bang for the buck? And ensuring that we, we invest correctly in terms of you know, the smart people that we've got working on the best part of the, area, uh, the areas that we can contribute to. And then doing that is part of a broader community, right? So everybody out in the open source community is really fired up about working on the big data. And being part of that is a real great excitement as well. <laughs> There's lots of good talks here, yeah, yeah. So, you know, some of the work around um, adoption of Java 9, some of the uh, work around uh, new GC uh, capabilities that are coming in uh, Java implementations. Um, there's going to be uh, sort of lots of talks around big data as well as uh, some of the more fundamental technologies as well. So I think you know, it's going to be a really exciting couple of days to come here to Malaga and see all these people who are fired up about Java technologies.